I was in the process of listening to episode 28 of the drive through when you started talking about how wrong it was when there were intergender matches between men and women. I was just wondering, taking into consideration how you feel about intergender matches, what is your point of view and opinion of the late great, in my personal opinion, ninth wonder of the world, China? Did you get along with her? What do you think of her being the first woman to enter the Royal Rumble match and King of the Ring tournament? What do you think of her winning the WWE Intercontinental Championship from Jeff Jarrett and going on to win it three more times? Oh, and last God. but not least, do you think she deserves to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame? And whether she does or doesn't, Ugh. do you think it will happen, taking into consideration the personal issues that she had with Triple H and Stephanie? This is the sound of me beating my head against the... the here's another one that's still... Uh, <sighs> I hate to speak ill of the dead, and I'm sure she was a very nice person away from wrestling. I had li limited interaction with her in wrestling, and the interactions both in the locker room or in the ring were the shits <laughs> all the time. Whether it was <laughs> having to wait in the ring forever, facing down one of the New Age outlaws. I think it was Billy Gunn with, with a championship belt so she could remember on live pay-per-view that she was supposed to be behind me hitting me in the nuts when I'm looking at her from across the fucking ring and she's clueless. Or, or whether it was her and Triple H, to be quite honest, getting hot at me when I had booked her for a third-party appearance. And when I was handling the third party appearances for the guys, get them fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred dollars, five thousand dollars, whatever their talent level was, to go sign autographs at a mall somewhere, right up in the northeast. So it, it, that was what I was doing for people. And goddamn one day, I think it's Bruce Pritchard calls me. Oh, fucking Triple H, you goddamn China are hot at you. I said, why? Why would that be? Because they had told me to call one of the promoters and tell them that China could not make her appearance and we would uh, get a suitable substitute because she was having dental surgery. Cause, okay. Because that's the first thing when you tell a promoter that a talent is not coming, that's the first thing they say is why, right? So you need to have the why ready, right? She's having dental surgery. Okay. So I call a guy up and get him somebody else and blah, blah, blah. So why are they hot? Because that's when she was having a, apparently a surgery or the surgery or whatever to get that fucking Antonio Inoki goddamn looking jaw fucking somehow brought down to normal size fashion. And I, although I, that, that information was not shared with me, so therefore I didn't share that information with anybody else. I thought she had a goddamn impacted fucking wisdom tooth. Um, they were mad at me and I had to apologize to China for letting out her. So I've heard guys kayfabe and fucking rehab, but the dentist, um, she was pushed because of her look. She was not a good worker. When she worked with the guys, it looked like she knew better of what she was doing because guys were strong enough to move her around. But it was a classic case of, of, of you know, of untalented at the fucking job she had person with a great striking look being pushed. But when it started to be that she was competing with fucking guys, if she, she still wasn't, no, it still wasn't going to fucking work. It was ridiculous. And I'm, and I'm proud of Jeff Jarrett for getting a six figure paycheck for putting her over on pay-per-view uh, because that could have sabled his Mark Merrow career. If he hadn't done a great job of it. And that's the best match she ever had. Um, uh, no. And then afterwards with the celebrity rehab and the fucking, I, I saw a clip of her porn. It, it, it turned me off of sex between the celebrity rehab and the porn and the fucking passing out places. And if I no, they've already got some in the hall of fame. They're sorry. They made that fucking decision. She should never go in the hall of fame. Here's the hall of famer taking six dicks in her ass and not looking good doing it. If, 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 I mean, I've seen, I've seen some porn where, yeah, now that's a talent, but no, hers was not it. it no, just in any way, shape or form. No, it was a fucking stunt and it worked because of the time and the shock value and it, and it helped turn, uh, the, which it was intended to, it helped turn WWF television into the Jerry Springer show because the, the idiot promote proponent of all of that was that's what he was where he was stealing all his ideas from i'm sorry 
Okay, well, moving on from there, our next question. Fuck. <laughs> our next question is from no, Twitter. I figured, since he gave her whole resume and fucking presented the case, I had to go as far as I could in the opposite direction just to rebut. And I do mean but. Well, let me ask you this. You know, on this topic, as you said that, uh, you know, they wouldn't want to put someone in the Hall of Fame who had those qualifications that you listed there. And there may be some people in there. Do you think WWE should consider throwing people out of their Hall of Fame if something happens after their induction? That No, would... but well, it, I mean, it depends on the individual instance. But just going through and going, OK, for one thing, by what percentage would that reduce the fucking Hall of Fame roster? They'd have to reprint a lot of programs. And for another thing. In a lot of cases, it would call more attention to, oh, that fucking reprobate was in the goddamn Hall of Fame to begin with. So I don't think they should go that far unless, well, I, I mean, there's a few people that have already done something real stupid. Donald Trump, he should be thrown out. Uh, but but just, you know, that's, I'm just trying to think. As a matter of fact, I, I'm trying to think of one situation where it, it, the likelihood of somebody just fucking up <laughs> has played any part in a lot of people's decisions just over and over again. <laughs> and I, I don't, I don't understand it, but All right. never let, I, I, you know, people, I was conservative as a talent of uh, a uh, booker. Also, I would rather have somebody that would work hard and be dependable and not, get my promotion plastered all over the fucking front page than somebody who either goes out of their mind, thinks they're a goddamn superstar is train wreck waiting to happen or already has track record or whatever. Even I've, you know, in one time I said, okay, we need to draw some money. I need a heel. Jake's three hours away down the interstate. And that bit me in the ass. So I was always conservative because I'd rather have guys I could depend on that would work hard to draw me money than guys that might draw me money and then fucking disappoint the people once I got them there because they might not be there or all there. 